Okay, so we're back with another video on gemstones and crystals. And as you can see here, um, we are talking about pyrite. Um, again, one of my other favorite stones. <laughs> I say favorite stone for every stone. Sorry, just get ignore that. But again, this is a very important stone. I'll say that. Um, I have a lot of bigger chunks of, of this. I'm just grabbing a few. This is one of my bigger chunks. Um, for some odd reason, whenever I take a photo, I can never get that perfect glittery f flash um, to show up, but I thank goodness it does on video. Um, I, I only have this out, my, my clear quartz crystal point. Um, I forgot, if, if for all of you who've already seen my other video or who've subscribed to my channel already, and thank you, by the way, I never ask people to do that, but if it's always nice when you do. Um, for those of you, my last video, well, not my latest video, but one of my last videos I made just a few days ago was on clear quartz. I cannot believe I forgot not to show this piece right here. Isn't that beautiful? This is the piece I meant to show and I totally forgot about it. I've had this one for a few years. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? This is clear quartz, very, very powerful. Um, anyway, I just wanted to get that in there. Isn't that pretty? I just had to show it off. I cannot believe I forgot to put that on my other video. Oh, so disappointed to myself. Anyhow, <laughs> back to pyrite. Um, pyrite is a very, very good stone. It is very unique and it's very good for shielding EMF. I'm gonna make a separate video on stones that shield EMF because let me tell you, again, like I said in my other video, I am not against technology. I am not against having Wi-Fi. I'm not against having um, electronics. I know times are changing. I'm not a very huge conservative. Um, I'm definitely, I, I, I prom I'm very for all of our wonderful technology. Like I said in my other video, I just believe we have too much of it. So what happens, especially with smart meters, and again, I know there's a lot of controversy on smart meters, and they're, I, I believe they can be wonderful technology, but if you look at a lot of research done. There's a lot of people on YouTubes that have those very expensive electromagnetic um, wave reader things. And they will tell, I mean, they're, let's, I'll just tell you this. I have a digital meter. It's not the actual smart meter, but I have it covered with a Faraday cage because I know um, the, the problems with uh, digital. The digital meters are not as bad as the actual smart meters because they don't have that communication component, but they're still bad for you. And a lot of things are, I know people will say, well, your phones are bad for you. Your, your television is bad for you. Yes, but you can turn them off. Okay, you can choose not to get a smartphone. Um, maybe one day our little flip phones will be obsolete. Um, hopefully not. But you know, even if you have a smart meter, I mean, a smartphone, you can cover it. There's stickers you can buy called Harmonic Shield, and I have some of those. And you can find them on Amazon. Um, I don't sell those, but they are pricey. Like about five stickers might cost you $69. About 10 stickers might cost you $99. Um, I could be a little off on the price, but they are very expensive, but they help to shield. So you can stick them right on your smartphones. Um, of course you can, I guess you can stick them all over your smart meter, but the problem with smart meters is you cannot turn them off. Even if you, you know, you can choose not to buy a smartphone. You can choose not to buy a smart TV. You can choose to turn off your, like, your electronics. You can choose not to buy or use a, a microwave. Okay, you cannot choose to do that with once something is in your on your house like that. Okay, I will go into that on another video. Sorry to lecture you all, but um, I've done my research and I know, look at my hands are getting a little dusty. I haven't cleaned these off in a while. These are probably, um, I'm not probably, I had, whenever I buy na my natural stones, um, I, I get them a very, just how they are. They're not clean, they're not, unless I buy tumbled stones, of course, but um, these are how they are. And so they have a lot of dust and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> because they're naturally mine, so they're not fake. I know, isn't that weird? This is the one I was talking about in my other video where I called, um, it reminds me of something from outer space. So look at that. I mean, it does. It looks like something that would fall from the sky, you know, like a meteor or something. <laughs> I'm not, not, not saying, you know, I mean, I don't know. It just looks like something that would be from outer space. It's very, very silver. Um, anyhow, back to, back to the main things about pyrite. Um, it's known as fool's gold. Okay, that's usually the popular nickname. Um, it does resemble gold in its physical appearance because that's where all the similarities end though. Um, it cannot be bent or shaped like gold because it's much too brittle. Okay, it is known that striking it with steel can even cause the sulfur in it to spark. Okay, I haven't tried that yet, but just telling you what it's known to be about. Um, it, it is, uh, I believe it's uh, disulfide and iron. 
because the, you know, the metallic crystal grows in cubes, nodules, um, masses of tiny crystals and can be also found in flat disks. Um, some have been known to confuse pyrite with, um, I think it's called Mars, Mars, Marcassite. If I'm saying it right, I forget because it's also an iron sulfide, but um, it's crystallized in a completely different manner. Okay, so the other stone, it, it is unstable and often crumbles during um, when people are trying to uh, carve or polish it, I think, sometimes. But pyrite is quite easy to find. Okay, it's, it's mined all over the U.S. and Arizona, especially Colorado. Uh, by the way, I had to I had to put this in there. Um, Colorado is known to have one of the most out of all the states in the United States has it's one of the states with the most crystals um, in in the from what I've heard from someone in the um, in the state. Even when they're in the mountains and everything, there's a lot of crystals. It's very that's why there's there can be a lot of good energy in, in certain states due to the amount of crystals they have in them, or just the energy at least. Um, <laughs> Um, they're also found in New York, Missouri, I think Pennsylvania, and South Carolina, also Tennessee. So um, specimens are also found in Spain, I believe South Africa, Portugal, Russia, Peru, and Germany, and other locations around the world. So, I mean, there's, it's very easily found. It has also been used in jewelry industry for thousands of years, um, as specimens have been found in the ancient civilizations of Greeks, um, Romans, and, you know, today it is most often used though for costume jewelry um but being as brittle and fragile as it can be it requires very careful cutting okay um like peacock copper peacock rock are all the same kind of stone also pyrite with the metallic peacock coloring flashing all over it so if you ever seen like a uh, peacock azore or whatever it's called the really colored one it almost looks like it's fake and spray painted um, and some people do sell them fake so be careful when buying peacock Ore, but um, I have real peacock ore. So, um, but but that's the real colors that come on it. It looks like literally like fake. Like, wow, this can be too good to be true. Why are they so perfectly like they're not perfect, but they're so colorful with blue and and a little bit of pink and and very interesting rock. I'll I'll make a video on those too, of course. Look look at my hands. That is crazy, isn't it? I really need to clean these. Very sorry about that. My laziness. <laughs> um, pyrite. Its name is from the Greek word. I think uh, pyre, which means fire. Okay, the French call it, uh, I think, pere de sante, meaning stone of health. And I probably pronounced that wrong, so somebody correct me. Um, because it has very positive effects on the body's health, okay? Um, pyrite helps one to communicate more openly and honesty, providing both emotional and physical protection. So if you're a very indecisive kind of person, especially Libras out there, or um, maybe if you're a life path number four or seven, <laughs> I should say, it can help you kind of make decisions. Again, I'm not a doctor, just telling you what they're known to do. Um, what else? It helps, you know, it helps to communicate more openly and honesty, honestly. Um, so it helps emotional and physical protection. Um, it reflects qualities. The ref I'm sorry, I meant to say the reflective qualities of the stone. It makes it a wonderful meditation or divination tool as, you know, as people have been doing it for decades, um, centuries. Okay. It, it, phys it increases the physical stamina. Um, it stimulates the intellect and helps to transform thought into, um, intelligent action. It is a wonderful stone to use in wealth mat wealth magic actually or kind of helping the person with manifestation of needed energies um like i said in the beginning of my video it's very good for shielding um a lot of negative energy especially remo removing negative negativity from the aura to help you concentrate more um it is also said to balance hormonal hormonal rhythms and to ease the comfort of me menstruation kind of like what i just said about labradite um, it's very good for clearing up confusion uh, of one's physical symptoms. Um, it said, it's also known to help reduce swelling or reducing fevers um, when used directly on the body. Okay, the planet it's known for is Mars. Um, it, 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 some people, it's known to kind of help with wealth or money. I wouldn't say it would make you rich just by carrying it around. But it is one of those stones, kind of like green adventuring and jade, especially jade. Um, jade can be very hard to find. And, and I mean, it's not hard to find, but 
it's very a lot of people which i'll make another video on that of course but a lot of people get mixed up with green adventuring and jade um they're not the same but they do do similar things and so they're also known to help your money luck i wouldn't say just be like i said i wouldn't say just by carrying it with you you're suddenly going to become a millionaire or something like that but it can help the vibration and energy around you to help more gain more um financial happiness or or just give it just kind of brings that energy like candles will do you know certain herbs and and certain um positive spells they can it's kind of like it like the law of attraction it helps you attract okay it's not just saying just pick up a few pyrites and all of a sudden you'll be wealthy no and citrine um i'll definitely do a video on citrine because citrine is like the, one of the top um, good stones to help bring you success and luck also with money too, even though it's not a green stone. <laughs> it's, it's more of a, of a yellowish kind of brown. Um, anyhow, um, prized by the people of Mexico, you know, pyrite was used in fashion, uh, polished mirrors that were also believed to be used for scrying. Um, although pyrite may be nicknamed fool's go gold, it is in many ways magically in line with the mineral gold itself, okay? Because it's, you know, used, like I said, it's used in spells and rituals regarding money and wealth and it and carried to bring good luck and fulfilled and, and, and one's needs. Again, um, it does the most, one of the most important things, I actually have uh, a little bit of pyrite in front of my Wi-Fi and uh, my smart, we do have a smart TV. My husband really wanted one. I was not really caring if we had one, but because we have one and all of our electronics, I should keep a little bit of pyrite in front of, in a little tiny jar next to, next to the televisions and our Wi-Fi. I also have a lot, I wouldn't say a lot, but I have about 50 grams of shungite because shungite and not just noble shungite there's two kinds of shungite which i'll go in another video because i think monday i'll make a video on shungite for everybody or just in general about stones that help with emf because shungite there's two different shungites there's noble and there's elite and it's very hard to find elite shungite elite shungite uh, noble shungite's like black kind of chalky but elite shungite is like pure like metal i mean not metal but it's like silver like this it not looking it's not like has the little um clusters like pyrite it's more smooth but it, it it's more more, um, it's more silver, you know, it's not like uh, noble shungite. Elite shungite is very expensive. I mean, just getting like one eighth of a pound can cost you almost $70, $80. Okay. I do sell shungite by the way too. And I sell, and I sell pyrite. So if you would like to order pyrite, um, you can go down to my website below the link and it'll, it'll bring you to my shop. So you can buy, I believe I, yeah, I sell tumbled and natural pyrite. So you, this is, by the way, this is not tumbled pyrite. Okay, this is natural pyrite. Isn't that pretty? And I think the natural pyrite is actually nicer looking because you have those little pieces of gold clusters like that. I mean, tumble is beautiful too, but I really love that. I mean, look at that. It looks, it's just very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, I also keep some of these in my car when I'm in the car um, because, you know, there's a lot of things that we get, you know, when we're driving around, you know, that's, there's a lot of, like I said, Bluetooth and all that. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm just saying they're just not good for our health. So, um, some symptoms of, of EMF radiation, which I will make another video of it. Um, I'm going to just throw this in there because I'm very good about throwing things in my videos. Um, some symptoms of excess or just EMF radiation in general are like fatigue, joint and muscle pain, decreased attention span, um, memory loss, difficult fo focusing, especially insomnia. I don't know how many people I know these days that have really bad time going to sleep, especially since they've gotten their smart meters. And I will tell anyone out there who thinks, oh, smart meters are good for us, blah, blah, blah. Um, on my neighborhood app, I mean, these are not regular people. These are not conspiracy theorists. They are regular people living in my subdivision and around the subdivision. I would say about 95 people out of 100 are all complaining about their smart, ever since they got their smart meters put in. Their bills have tripled and they're feeling, you know, just different. And I mean, the, I'll link a video um, when I make my EMF um, stone video. I'll, I'll link a really good video. You. I think it's called take back your power. I would really watch that if I were, and some people, again, I'm not, I'm not against the technology of what smart meters can do, but there's also controversy about what they do, to, you know, technology wise, not EMF wise. I'm more, I'm more, um, concerned about 
the the radiation they put out and other things. But again, it's just something to be known, whether you believe it or not. It's probably a good idea to have certain stones just when you're on your laptop or when you're on your computer. You know, if you're if you're one of the people where you sit at a cubicle or a desk all day at your work and you know it's just sitting at a computer can can do that to you. Sometimes it's good just to have a little tiny bowl of these right in front of it. And of course I do recommend other stones, not just pyrite, but this is one that is very affordable that you can simply just put in front of your laptop. Anyhow, um, this is my video of wonderful healing and protective pyrite. And I will see you guys on my next video. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.